Hello guys, today we are going to work on Zotero, a reference management tool. To start with, let me just open the application, go to my desktop, open my application. Here I have Zotero standalone already installed. To refer to the installation tutorial, you can refer to my previous video. As you can see in my Zotero file, I have many folder in my libraries. Uh, if I go to one folder that is Koha folder, I have many of the file which I've already dragged in my second panel. If I go to one of the file here, you can see a, comp a comparative study of library web opac on different library management software. If I go to this one PDF here and right click on it, and I'll have to open or view my PDF. To view PDF, you need an, a third party application like uh, uh, Adobe Reader or uh, Foxit Reader. Here I'm using Foxit Phantom PDF Express for my laptop. So this paper is about a comparative study of library web opac on different library management software. If I go to the library web opac and these are the text that i'm going to be highlighted so i'm just gonna i've already highlighted this section now again i'm going to highlight this part i select the sentence or a definition i highlight it and in case i needed to add some more interesting features like for example a note or a file that i want to attach to a specific location uh here i wanted to add a note say and i'll just put here so here i'll just write about library app opac uh, this will be useful for me so that uh be useful for my introduction while reviewing my literature so in order to make this text extractable okay i'm gonna have to go and save this particular pdf after saving the pdf i'm gonna close it coming back to my uh file that is jk swarnali papers in my child file under a comparative study of web opac on different library management software if i go here i right click i go to the last option manage attachment and i extract annotation and as you can see in this section my file is getting extracted my highlights so while i'm waiting for it to finish let me just tell you that in order to have this functionality of manage preferences this one for extracting the annotation from that pdf file you're gonna need to have a zot file which is an add-in already installed in your system so since i've already installed you and i've already shown you in the previous video of installation there should not be a problem it should come it should be there so as you can see uh the metadata the parent file of this a comparative study of web opac already have two child file one is the extract annotation the other is a jk swarnali paper if i go here there in the third in the bibliogap bibliographic section in the third pane it gives me the annotation which was extracted along with the citation and page number and if, if i want to go back to the file then i'll just click on the link it should lead me to that no and not insert link Okay, now if suppose I want. Oh, excuse me. I guess that was a way of reminding me that uh, I'm back home and the weather is cold. Uh, uh, it shows you here, and you can go to this section if you want to edit this particular uh, annotation. You may want to add some uh, text or a summary. or a 
summary and maybe you add something which is useful for you here i've already add library webpack useful for my introduction so that itself should act as a summary to highlight it use all this feature which is left right justification and uh, bold italic and everything so here you have the file and it's pretty much useful for you to just copy paste and put it into your literature so that is it about uh, pdf now you may be wondering where are all the pdf which you've already drag and drop where is it saved now if i go back here to uh my preferences if i go here to my advances okay uh no sing um, files and folder okay here under my data data's directory location it is said that it is safe under c user channel and keyboard so if i can just go back to my c folder user under channel number zotero and i go to my storage and here you'll find this is a word file this is where are uh, all the snapchat the snapshots the screenshots the link and all the pdfs are saved but again sotero has got its own coding system so you will not be able to determine which is which but but then it is safe in its database directory so i think that is it about PDF, pretty much about pdf and i hope it should guide you and along the way in your research paper or your thesis or your dissertation uh, thank you very much have a good afternoon until next time